Hey beautiful YouTubers, it's Tess. So the studio is in a little bit of disarray right now because these past couple days or this past week or so I've been got, getting like a flood of extra shipping supplies and um, just restocking on things and I've also got so many kits it's not even funny. Um, Lucy Kit, Rebecca by Riva Schick, Stinker by Donna Rebert for Blair's twin brother Jigsaw who will be done like not even till Halloween. Um, Noah by Riva Schick, something by somebody, and, oh, and here's my progress on Sly, I was about to call him Henry, and speaking of Henry, um, the other Liam kit, her box, Avery's box opening is up, and I'm in it, because I was FaceTiming her at the time, so I, I just need to warm up his coloring, I was going to make him pretty fair, but, um, for some reason I'm thinking, he looks a little, like, not alive, this this particular kit. Um, it's kind of hard to make him look really alive when he's fair. So I might make him a little bit tanner. And then we also have... Bet you don't know who this is. Bet you think you know who this is, but you really don't know. This is not Lilia. <laughs> look, there's no hair. This is um, Hallie Joanna. She's a custom Sabrina, and she was my last custom for a while. And she went shopping with me because we had to pick up some things for her to go home with. Uh, she has a nicer coloring than Lilia does. And Lilia's feet have turned blue. Because I used to put a lot of shoes on them. Be gentle with sleeves and with uh, shoes and socks, guys. Make sure the shoes and socks are always a little big. Because that can rub off. or It rubs at the vinyl, which turns it blue. It has nothing to do with the painter's job. It's just the vinyl. Like, sometimes you'll get a kit and the vinyl looks like that. But, yeah. That's a handler problem, not a painter problem. For those of you that <laughs> might blame your paint artist for that. And then there's Miss Blair. Oh, speaking of which, that just reminded me. I got a little bottle, a clear bottle for her, and I'm going to be making a blood sippy cup. I'm so excited. And then here's Lilia over here. Proof that the other one's not Lilia. Or is she? We don't know. So, um, I just realized I didn't explain this. You probably are confused as to what this is doing here. This is a huge thing of bubble wrap. I had no idea it was this big. I wish I had a better idea of what dimensions were. But, um, fortunately, it fits right under my table. But I was just using it. Ta-da! It's gone. Which is good, because if my mom sees that, she's going to be pissed. <laughs> Just because it takes up so much room. Hello, Miss Holly. Uh, I'm getting some, all the recyclables together. A lot of stuff have come in. That's why there's so many flattened boxes over there. And I am packaging up. This is Ireland. Uh, I have a couple interested buyers, one of which says she might be able to pay tomorrow. So, um, got that ready. And I'm just going to put her in a box for when she is ready to go out tape is slipping. There we go. And I am also going to finish up slide today. Hopefully. His body should be coming in uh, probably as early as tomorrow. But I have a few substitute bodies that I could put him in. I'm very excited for this little mister, my little Sly. Uh, I feel like I had something else. Oh, and I also have tissue paper. I've been working on, you know, ways to organize because I'm a natural slob who completely fails at organization when I have no place to put things. So I got this. I had to, this looks a little ratchet at the ends because I had to cut these huge strips of tissue paper in half. Um, so yeah. So this is how big they are in half. They're all the way around here. And then I have manila folders for birth certificates. I'm moving to full-size birth certificates. And just having a place to put them will be nice. Like have a more sturdy um, outside of them. And that also gives the mom a place to put them to. Can't get over how cute she is. Hello, precious. Anyway, I've got some work to do. Definitely a lot of cleaning to do. A lot of boxes to put away. I also now have a box for my receipts. Because uh, when I get to the point where I apply for self-employment, um, keeping receipts can get you some tax, tax exemptions. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye.